It's the show, it's the show, it's the asshole cooking show. And today we're going to start off the show, uh, going to use some of this here. And uh, this is a kind of a shake and bake, which you don't really need shake and bake to buy, but I do this. I'm going to spray this real good anyway, prevent some sticking. And then what I'm going to do here is hold on to this bag, which I'm going to take this, some of this, and some of this and put it into the bag right here hold on to the bag if you want to just throw the whole uh, throw the whole goddamn thing in the bag but i'm not going to do that just dump a whole bunch in and then a little bit of this oh hell what the hell just dump the whole dump the whole goddamn thing in because yeah we're since we're doing this like shake and bake after all and uh and i'm gonna put the camera down and uh show you here uh in one second this setup we got some of well the whole damn uh, thing of uh, this, the onion and the garlic, the whole damn thing. I emptied both the containers into this bag. And I'm going to take one of these leg quarters like this, put it into the bag, right? And then once it's into the bag, see, look at that. And uh, take it out, throw it in, do the same thing with the other leg quarter. I got four of these in here. We're going to just uh, shake this up and throw it in there. Put it in there. I'm going to take this third leg quarter. Damn it! Get in there. And do that. And it's in there. And now the fourth one. Oops! Damn. I didn't have my uh, hand on the bag there completely, almost. Oh. Alright. It's in there. Then, once you're done with this, oh hell with it, just throw the whole goddamn thing all over the whole deal here. And... Right, and the final thing that I'm going to do here, you can cover this with foil if you want, but since I threw a whole bunch of this on, I'm going to spray a little layer of this on top because the reason being, in my experience, like if you don't have to worry as much about it overly crisping on the top or burning and stuff, you know what I mean? And um, So we're going to spray. Take, spray it from far away so it doesn't blow all your uh, powder off here. Hold on give it a couple blasts like really quick far away because you don't want to blow I'm trying to show you with the camera here you want to blow below all the and this is going to have a lot of flavor this is going to smell really dang good when it's in there but i think the leg quarters on these leg quarters and unlike the other chicken legs the drumsticks i think some of the stuff makes more grease than others you know and some not at all but There, you got a coating on there to prevent, prevent like over 
burning, you know, when it cooks. Like, yeah, like, so it ain't so powered, powdery. And then um, we're going to pause and we're going to, I'm going to just turn this up to about, to about 400 degrees here. Heat this up to about 400 degrees and then cook it for an hour and we're going to be paused and we'll be right back to see how it turns out. I make this all the time and uh, I don't I don't want to keep making chicken episodes either. There's going to be a, there's going to be a meatloaf episode so you guys know. But anyway, I'm going to pause for now and guys, uh, um, here it is. Um, yeah, I had another uh, thing I forgot to tell you guys too. So I cleaned the stove so many times, you know, too. See, uh, the thing kind of got wore off uh, that uh, tells you how many degrees you have the uh, uh, heat. So um, I get a basic idea where 300 something or 400 is. So I kind of guesstimate it. And, you know, if you have it all the way over, it's too much. That's That's where it is right now. So this little bit of, you know, blackness on the pan. I ain't gonna hurt nothing, but ready to serve. And another thing too, usually when I made other times I made chicken in the past, when you want there to be more grease in the pan, there ain't. And this chicken didn't make a lot of grease, so this is why also to the uh, I a little bit of pans burnt. But yeah, I'm serving it. And what I did do do too like halfway into cooking it too just in case I uh, didn't show this in the video but I took some more of this and sprayed the top a little bit there too uh, in case it crisped too much and um but anyway yeah you gotta be uh mm, yeah you gotta be one of the biggest assholes and lover of garlic and don't care what anybody thinks about garlic breast to make chicken in this manner. So this is my ultimate garlic enthusiast's chicken. And um, it's good. But I think, you know, you can also make a sauce in a liquid form too, you know, which if you want to put all that, put a bunch of garlic in a, mix it, you know, make a sauce and throw it on there too. But, uh, but uh, there you have it. Uh, good stuff, and I'm going to dig into it. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you all for watching the show, the show, the asshole cooking show. It's the show. The show. Thank you for watching the show. The asshole cooking show.